we're going to assemble this steam engine model. We start by comparing these two top and bottom layers, uh, outer layers. This one you see has two larger holes, this one has just one larger hole. We want to start with the one with two larger holes. Um, and here we have four disks. Two large disks, two small disks, two of them with two holes, two of them with one hole. We want the large disk with one hole. We set it on top here, and you see it doesn't fit through. We have short screws and long screws. We start with the long screw goes through the hole in the disc. Uh, and then we take short screws and put them through all the other holes. Not the two larger holes, but all the other screw hole sized holes. A lot of them. Take some stiff paper or thin cardboard, set it on top, and then press them together and flip the whole thing over, set it down, and slide the paper out from underneath. So now uh, we have all the screws standing up and don't want to pick this up. Next we take the small one hole disc, put it on the the long screw, and it will fit exactly into the hole in the bottom layer. Um, next we take uh, one of these washers, we have thick washers and thin washers. Take one thin washer, then one thick washer, and then another thin washer, all on the long screw. Now we take this piece, there's two pieces that look similar, but this one is thin and flexible thick one is the one we want. Set it on top, wiggle it around until all the screws go through, like that. Okay, now we're ready for the colored pieces, no, sorry, now we do these pieces. Uh, don't really know how to describe these two pieces. Uh, the smaller one goes here, and the larger one goes here. So you see together these three holes are line up in those three pieces. Okay. Now we're ready for the colored pieces. We start with the green one with a complete circle. That goes over the washer, fits around the washer. Then the green piston, that circle goes inside the C thing there. And you see that's linked. Then we take the orange piece with a large C on it. That goes around the green circle. Then the L-shaped piece, one of the, the L there has a hole in it. That goes on that screw, and those link together. And then we have this. It has one facing down and one facing to the right. These are sideways facing. One goes on the L and links. And this is called a spool valve, and that goes right there. Everything is linked together. Okay, next we take this thin flexible piece, the gasket goes on top, all the screws pop through. Next we take the top layer, outer layer, stick that on. Now we have this almost put together, but if we picked it up, everything would fall apart and we'd have to start over. So we spin the nuts on, I'm sort of pressing down to help keep the screws from turning. And not trying to tighten these at all, just get them on enough so that the screws won't fall out.
we take the small two hole disc, put that on here. It also fits into the hole uh, in the top layer. Then the large two hole disc goes on there. And then the remaining thick washer goes on there. Now um, we need to put together the flywheel. So for that, we take the remaining short screw and thin washer thin washer onto the screw and put the screw and washer in there and then put a nut on the end here and use the tiny screwdriver to tighten it. Tiny screwdriver is good because it doesn't let you over tighten it. Also important to notice we just we made a mistake here there's an extra nut that's because we forgot the nut on that screw. Very easy to do but we caught it before it was too late. Okay, now that the flywheel is assembled, we put the flywheel on this peg here, essentially the screw is acting as a peg, and that goes through both of the second holes in those discs, and the other hole in the flywheel goes through that main screw. Put the nut on. Okay, now we have everything assembled, but not yet tightened, so now we need to tighten all the screws. Sorry, at the top. Again, you don't want to over tighten these, you can crack the acrylic. So if you're using a big screwdriver, uh, be careful not to over tighten. And when we get to this screw, this screw is special because this one is acting as a pivot. And so it really needs to be just snugged. Don't tighten it, because if you do it, it will squeeze the top and bottom together and then this won't be able to move freely. Uh, the others you can tighten them basically as, as tight as you can make them with a tiny screwdriver. Not as tight as you can make them with a real screwdriver. I think we've got everything. Okay, and then don't forget to tighten the screw that goes to the shaft. This this disc can turn, so you want to get it just you know by eye centered. It's not crucial. It'll just sort of wobble if it's not quite centered. 